Why are we still here? No! Drive! Drive! Fousey has been unleashed to the world back again, and you know what? I actually hate saying that. You see, a few months ago, I made a video on Fousey, and that video went over a tweet that he posted where he is basically lamenting about his mental health and how he's been having a hard time living his life, only for nobody to take him seriously and basically mock him, tell him that mental health isn't real, that it's gay, and that he needs a lot. But recently, Fousey Tube has returned, although he came back two or three months ago, it appeared that things with him were rather uneventful, aside from a few clips here and there that foreshadowed future things to come. And come, they definitely have. I can't come here for three months? They told me a three months trust. I won't come back here another day in my damn life ever again. What's up, my man? I'd never come back here a day in my damn life. Respectfully, I'm not mad at you. You were a homie. But I'm never coming back to this mall. This mall discriminates. Free Palestine. They don't support the cause. Something that is extremely evident with Fousey is that he's always had a bit of an ego problem. As soon as he came into this mall, he got confronted by a mall officer or mall security, and he was told, hey, stop recording so that you can actually be on our premises. But instead, he jumped over a couch, he tried egoing the guy, and then he just walked off as if he wasn't even confronted at all. Eventually, security arrived, tried talking to him, confronted him, basically told him that he needed to leave because he was acting a fool. Eventually, he obliged, started acting belligerent while throwing his Palestinian heritage back at their faces. The thing about Fousey is that he is so lost in his own ego that he can't fathom a small hit to it. He can't fathom any sort of challenge. Anytime his ego is threatened, anytime he feels like the lesser man in the room, he can't help himself but to act like a complete lunatic. And while this behavior has always been very present, it has become extremely abundant in the last couple of days, especially when other streamers or women are involved. And this behavior usually leads to some pretty explosive reactions. Mm -hmm. Aiden, what girls that you can throw my way? That's what I'm telling you, bring them out, DM them. me, throw one at Just, me. Just, you tell me. I can, pretty much everyone. Like, oh, actually, me. I can call Celine, oh, see your friends. Oh, oh, what's the, t oh, I don't even want to talk about how I'm not even going to give her that fucking clout. Do you want me to call the girl I called yesterday to see if she has friends? Huh? Remember she I lives here? Yeah. Let me talk to her. No, come on. Let me just talk, oh wait, are you? Um, no, nah, I'm already, I mean, no, nah, I'm just talking. I haven't even met her before. Okay, let me just talk to her. Uh. I'm just gonna ask her if she has friends, that's it. Okay. What are you doing? Part. Just getting ready? What are you doing? Are you about to go stream? You look like the lights on and everything. No, no, I'm just doing my makeup, but it's my best friend's birthday. Oh yeah, you have the birthday party today. Uh, where's the birthday party? Um, it's, it's kind of far out of the city, it's not really in the city. Is, is your friend single? No, he started working for seven years. Okay. Well, okay. do you have a, a pretty friend who's single? Because my friend Fuzi is looking to talk to a girl while he's in Toronto. I mean, I do have a Ask him we just go to the party. I only have one single friend, though. Uh, so, wait, where's the party? Are we invited? Um, it's, we're not going to a party. We're going to a restaurant. What about the after party? We're not having an after party. You can have an after party. Do you want an after party? Okay, do you want to... Um, my friend Fousey wants to say hi to you. So not even a full hour into meeting these guys, and Fousey's already frothing at the mouth. He's already eager. He's anxious. He's like an itching addict trying to get that first line of cocaine. Fousey's a 35-year-old man. He should know how to control his urges a little bit better. Everyone except Fousey knows how weird this behavior is. I mean, look at Sneeko's face throughout most of this. He's seriously panicking. He's just there in his mind wondering, dude, this guy is going to be completely unhinged and ruin everything for all of us. I mean, they know that Fousey is a problem. And yes, this is some foreshadowing into what will happen later on. So Lee, me, you and Sneeko, me, you and Sneeko should hang out off stream. Definitely. Combi, come around this way. Sit next to Celine, Combi. Sit next to Celine, Combi. Do you think I don't want to hang out with you? I, like, you in the car earlier, that's why you say that. Why do you think I'm here and not streaming? Oh, I know why. Why? Uh, you drank the whole thing. Yes. You just slammed it. I don't like when I'm told not to do something. I'm not. I'm not. I'm pissed off right now. You wanna go do something? No. Let's go. Fuck y'all. Yeah, y'all go sit down right here. 
I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can we come? Huh? Can I come? You can always come for me, Aiden. You can see the moment that Fuzi gets completely perturbed when Aiden mentions that he wants to hang out with that girl off stream, and you can also see how livid he is because he's not getting any attention. It's incredibly sad and pathetic. That is literally a child right there. That is a grown man child right there. And you can see how he's trying to act like the biggest man in the room. He's obviously trying to get attention from that girl. He's trying to be this jokey dude, trying to get all eyes on him, but unfortunately it just doesn't work out for him because it would actually work against his favor. These people do not want to be around somebody who can't keep themselves composed. Well, I like your Uggs. Oh, you're gonna make fun of them right now. That's we. Okay, so I'm not an Ugg guy, right? I'm a Crocs guy. Really? Pink Crocs, that's it. And I just became a Converse kid. That's all I wear now. No more of. Unless it's Louis. Louis is the only brand I'm allowed to wear. But I've never been an Uggs guy. Should I become one? Yes. I should. What kind? The what? What is that? Tasmans? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get a pair. I'm gonna get a pair. Is this pink? Yeah. That's my favorite color. Me too. Really? That's awesome. See, and now there were similarities. That's a W. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Am I friend zoned immediately? Damn! That's a clip. You just made me go viral, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nicolette, you're a sweetheart. It was a pleasure talking to you. This guy cannot stand getting his ego bruised. He gets slightly let down, and he immediately assumes that he's getting friends on, only to actually be friend zone, and then say, I'm about to get a million views. That's a viral clip right there. Thank you for making me viral. He just has to flaunt the fact that he owns Louis, that he owns all of these designer brands, that he's going to get millions of views, that he's the biggest person in the room, and in reality, he just really isn't. These people do not like him. They don't want him around them. They're just being polite because they know he's an insane psychopath. Typically, I try to be more charitable and try to give more fairness and leeway to Fuzi, but there's so many times that Fuzi has genuinely become a burden to other people and to himself that there's not really any forgiveness to give anymore. There's not a lot of leeway that you can give this guy. He's just such a problem person. So because of Fuzi's, uh, how should I put this, very cringe and weird and awkward behavior that people typically don't like being around, uh, it becomes pretty evident that these people no longer want to associate with him, so he ends up getting ditched later down the line. I think they want me to get the fuck out of here. I think that's what they're discussing right now. Look at them. Look, look how many people are talking right now. Who's there? Who's there? Literally, everybody who is on their stream, right? Now turn it back to me. Who's here? Who's here? Hi. It's so fucking obvious. If you want to have an orgy, if you want to go to the gym, if you want to do whatever, just fucking tell me. What the fuck? I don't need y'all. Fuck all y'all. They probably heard that and said, oh my god, did you hear that? Yeah, he's gonna crash out. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Let's just say we're going to sleep, okay? G7. What do you gotta go do, Aiden? Uh, gym, uh, finish streaming, shower, okay, okay, sleep. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Have a hug? Uh, yeah, of course, Aiden. I love you. Love you. Before you leave, you. word for word, bar for bar, everything I said, literally. Everything I said. Fuzi has got to be one of the most insecure people on the internet. He notices that his friends are getting ready to separate and he doesn't read the room. I mean, of course, these people are going to be sort of ashamed of being around you. You're a complete weirdo. And this is even addressed by Sneeko a little bit later down the line. Right now. Who's there? Who's there? Literally everybody who is on their stream, right? Now turn it back to me. Who's here? Who's here? Hi. Bro, Fuzi, we were like on a two man mission and then you literally slid underneath the table and kissed Aiden on the face while he's talking to a girl. <laughs> like, bro, there's a time and place. So I can actually say this did happen. I did see it happen. Unfortunately, I can't get the clip because I am IP banned from Kick. apparently. Not that it matters, but regardless, yes, Sneeko is right. There is a time and a place, and sometimes you have to be really mature, grow up, and understand that you are not the center of attention. You don't need to make yourself the center of attention. Whatever you do is not going to impress anybody. You're just being a weirdo. Some people are going to say that this is mania, but I'm more inclined to believe that this is just Isufuzi having an insanely, insanely bad case of narcissism and 
and egotism. Now, I do say that facetiously. I am not Fuzi's therapist. I am not his doctor. I am not his evaluator. I don't know what he's actually going through. It could very well be mania, as it has been said several times in the past. However, there is a level of egotism that Fuzi portrays here that shows that he is not capable of interacting with people in a meaningful way. So how does Fuzi, being the perfect angel celebrity that he is, react, you might ask? Is this his car? Yeah. Do we have time? You're done. If it wasn't for your fucking fan coming into my chat and saying that you were talking shit, I wouldn't have got out the car and I wouldn't have lost my weed pen. You're fucking done. It dropped out there. Celine, hi. Nice to meet you. What the? You look so very good tonight. Fault? Huh? How was that my fault? You're bowl? fucking done, You're Aiden. Dude! You're done. Right, he's doing too much now. He's doing We're gonna take it! Bro, get off the car, man. Get off! You're get done. off! Get off! No. Nope. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to mute history in my stream to actually have a talk. Fuzi, 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 Fuzi. Actually. Fuzi! Get off the car, bro. Get off the car. You're get off done. the car. You're doing too much, man. You're done, kid. Come You're on. done, though. Wah, wah. You're done, though. Done. Sick side in this bitch. Drake shit. Dry! Why are we still here? No! Drive! Drive! Fuzi is genuinely a complete lunatic. When he feels slighted in any way, as you can tell when he said that he heard them talking shit, otherwise he wouldn't have actually gone out to confront them, you can tell that every single thing that comes his way that he finds offensive, he's going to snap and react to it in the worst way possible. This is not somebody that should be on the internet anymore. This is somebody that should have cut their losses a long time ago, but Fuzi is unfortunately obsessed with a limelight, or obsessed with the possibility that he might be recognized as one of these amazing celebrities, but he's simply not. He's simply just a loser that doesn't understand how to behave in public, all because of his ego. An issue with Fuzi though is that if he's not constantly in the spotlight as he's addressed in the past, then he feels extremely depressed because he's not getting attention. But when Fuzi is active, he's so obsessed with attention and being the most popular person in the room that he does some of the most unhinged things. What type of person gets out of a car to confront somebody over talking shit, especially when they weren't actually even saying anything? This is a very very common cycle with Fuzi. He comes back to the internet, he gets a little bit of clout, it gets to his head, he starts behaving like an obnoxious moron, then claims he's healthy, then he pretends like he's a man of God that just needs to speak to Allah, and then he crashes out as people are saying, goes completely manic, starts behaving in some of the most unhinged ways possible, somebody decides to wrangle him, he goes back to the mental hospital, he then gets locked up for a couple of months, comes back, and does it all over again. I think Fuzi needs to understand that he doesn't actually have any friends in this scene. Most of these people, Aiden Ross and Sneeko, are going to use him for the clippable moments that he might have for being a complete lunatic. They're going to use that to bolster their popularity for the month so that they can get significantly higher numbers. And then they're just going to wait for him to get completely unhinged and lock himself away so that they don't have to deal with him again. Fuzi genuinely just needs to quit and retire. As much as I hate to say this, I think that there is no salvation for Fuzi. We have seen this happen multiple times in each and every time. Time, it's progressively worse than the last. Uh, I don't think that Fuzi will ever be in a place where he will be 100% mentally healthy unless he completely detoxifies and forgets the internet. He wants to be a celebrity. He wants to be this super popular idol. But the thing is, is that he will never achieve that because he's just a joke of an almost 40-year-old man that not a lot of people actually care for unless he's crashing out and behaving in the most unhinged way possible. Because people treat him as a lol cow. That's what they want him to be. They want to make jokes at his expense. And that's why he's currently popular. Popular. He's not popular because he's iconic, he's not popular because he's an incredibly talented musician, he's not popular for anything particularly important, aside from being a funny man on the internet that can no longer be funny unless it's at the expense of his mental health. Another thing is that Fuzi is so delusional that he can't comprehend this unfortunate reality that befalls him every single time he comes to the internet. People don't care about him because he's cool or amazing, they care about him because he's just the next clip that'll make some Twitter users paycheck once they farm him for engagement. So. Uh, 
in conclusion, just to uh, wrap up this video, I think that Fuzi should uh, genuinely just leave the internet, never come back. That would probably be the best thing for him. I don't necessarily hate the guy because it's evident that he is extremely mentally ill, but it doesn't do him any favors to just continue being on the internet when nobody actually cares for him. Uh, that's all I got for today.